Hello and welcome. This is a video guide on how to optimize and boost the FPS for PUBG Battlegrounds. PUBG has been around for quite some time, but it still remains one of the most played games in the world. It also went free to play quite recently, I think. So I thought a guide could be helpful for some of you, especially if you're new to PC. I'd like to point out this guide will definitely be helpful for high-end systems, but it will boost mid-range and low-end gaming systems with much more effectiveness, especially low-end gaming systems. The guide will not only show you how to boost the FPS, but it will also improve game quality and system performance. And in turn, this will help fix any lag or FPS drops or stutters that you could be experiencing when you play. But first and foremost, we'll go over the very best tips, tricks and settings for gaming on Windows 10 step by step. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Step 1. Clean out your shader cache. I cannot stress enough how important this is. This basically cleanses and resets your stored shaders, which are basically tones and textures that your installed games save. Every time there's a new update, more are added on. Shader compiling can cause crashes, stutters, freezes, and even overheating in some cases. It uses extra memory too. Resetting your shader cache should always be the first thing you do before installing a new game, or when a new update comes along. Now there's a link in the description for a video that will show you two simple ways on how to easily clean and reset your shader cache. Step 2. To ensure you get the most out of your PC whilst you game, I highly advise that you switch off every overlay and background application while you play. Things like Steam, Nvidia GeForce, Xbox Game Bar, Discord, even River Tuner, and any others that could affect the performance while you game. This is mostly for players with low-end gaming systems that need all the power they can get, basically. To turn the Steam overlay off, just head into the Steam setting menu, click in-game and untick the box that says enable the Steam overlay while in-game. To turn off the Nvidia GeForce overlay, open up Nvidia GeForce Experience, click on the settings icon, go to general and switch off the in-game overlay for Xbox Game Bar. Using the window search bar, type Game Mode Settings and then click the icon. Once the window is open, navigate to the left side and click Xbox Game Bar. And of course, set it to off. Then you navigate back to the left and click on Captures, where you then need to switch off background recording and recorded audio. For Discord, all you need to do is open Settings and on the left select Overlay. You'll then just need to disable the option that says Enable In-Game Overlay. After you've done that, navigate to Advanced and make sure Hardware Acceleration is set to Off as this actually uses GPU power to run Discord. Step 3. In the Windows search bar, type in Game Mode and click the settings icon. Once the window pops up, ensure Game Mode is set to On. For quite some time, there were issues with this particular setting, but Microsoft has now finally fixed it. So basically, if you're running the very latest version of Windows 10, make sure you turn Game Mode On. This will force all your PC resources on the game you're playing and suppresses any background activity from affecting your system while you game. Step number four. Navigate back to Windows search bar, type in graphics settings and click the icon. Now in here you should see an option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This needs to be set to on and if it wasn't you will need to restart your PC after you turn it on. Once that's done navigate down to graphics performance preference and you will want to add PUBG to your graphics performance list. In order to do this you will need to know exactly where the game is installed and you will need to add the game's launch application to the list. To do this, open up Steam, go to your library, right click on PUBG, click on Properties, then click Local Files, and then Browse. Now once the window is up, double click the folder TSI Game, then double click on Binaries, then double click on Win64. Then what you want to do is copy the directory link at the top, which is for where your game is installed. Then you can close Steam down, navigate back to your graphic settings window, click Browse, browse and then you'll want to paste the link to the address bar at the top. Then find the application icon for PUBG which in this case is titled TSI Game and all you do is simply add it to your graphics list. Finally you click on options then set it to high performance, click save and then you're done. Step 5. 
go back to the window search bar once again, type in power plan and click edit power plan. At the very top, click power options and under preferred plans, ensure high performance is selected. Step six, if you have multiple screens, I would advise to only have one screen on when you play. If you press the Windows key and P together, you will bring up a menu that lets you select which screens to have on. Step seven, background apps. Simply type settings into Windows search bar and click the icon, then select privacy. On the left menu, scroll down all the way until you see background apps. Then simply switch off, let apps run in the background. Step eight, the Windows Registry Edit. Now this step may look a little daunting, but it really isn't, I promise. Just follow along and you're gonna be 100% just fine. First, just head on over to the Windows search bar. Type in run and hit enter. Once the new window opens up, simply type in reg edit, as you see on screen, and hit enter once again. You're now inside the Windows registry editor. In here, we're going to optimize and tweak a couple of values that will set important Windows registry keys to completely prioritize gaming above all else. This includes your CPU resources. So start off by double clicking H key local machine, then double click software, then find the Microsoft folder and once again double click it. Then scroll down until you find Windows NT and you guessed it, double click that. Then double click the current version folder and finally scroll down until you find the multimedia folder and double click that one. You'll now be seeing a folder called system profile and I want you to just click that one once. Now to the right, you will see two options inside. One is titled network throttling index and the other is titled system responsiveness. Starting with network throttling, I want you to double click it and delete any value you see in there. And then you proceed to type in eight F's, as in FF, 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 FF. And this will actually disable network throttling completely, which is extremely beneficial for gaming. Now, once that's done, click OK and exit. Next up, double click on system responsiveness and change the value to zero. This will actually ensure all your CPU resources go towards gaming. And once you've edited the values inside these two registries, head back over to the left and double click on system profile. Then double click on tasks and then click the games folder just once. Head over to the right and double click on GPU priority and set the value data to eight. You then click OK. Next up, double click priority and change the value to 6 and click OK. Finally, double click on scheduling category and change the value data to high if it wasn't already and click on OK. You have now successfully optimized the Windows registry for gaming. Step number 9. Clearing out your temp folder. This is a pretty simple step and it will clear away a huge amount of unnecessary dumped files that are just simply cluttering your machine. Firstly, head down to the window search bar and type in percent app data percent and hit enter. Once the window pops up, you will need to ensure that your hidden items are actually showing as this is a hidden folder. To do that, all you need to do is click on view at the top and then tick the box to the right that says hidden items. Once you've done that, click app data on the address bar and you will see a sort of transparent folder called local. Double click on it and then scroll all the way down until you find a another transparent folder that's called temp. Once inside here, you'll want to click and drag your mouse to highlight every single file inside the folder. Then just right click on your mouse and select delete. A window will pop up and what you simply need to do is tick the box that says do this for all current items and then click skip and keep doing the same until the process is finished and you're only actually left with the files that are actually being used by your machine inside the folder. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into the game and we're gonna change a couple of things. Now with pretty much any game, we can just put everything on low or very low and that would be fine. You'll probably get smooth performance, but the visual quality would probably be very poor. The whole point is to try and maintain as high a graphical quality as we can whilst getting the very most amount of FPS and performance. So that's exactly what we try and do with this guide. Now before we go on to the in-game settings, there is one thing that you need to do and that is to disable the full screen optimizations in inside PUBG. 
This is because it has been found that the game itself seems to use more than the recommended power. There are also reports that when this is enabled, Windows 10 notifications seem to pile up in the background, which hinges on performance. So to disable this, first, go back to your Steam's library, right click on PUBG, then properties, then followed by local files and then browse. Once here, double click the folder TSI game, then double click binaries, and then again, double click Win64. Then as you know, you've got the TSI game file, but there's another file titled exec PUBG. So right click on that, then select properties. Once the window pops up, select the compatibility tab. Then under settings, make sure to check the box that says disable full screen optimization. Once this has been done, click on change high DPI settings and check the box at the bottom that says override high DPI scaling behavior. Then finally, ensure that under scaling performed by, you have application selected. Click OK, then click apply, and then OK again. Now I want you to do the exact same thing for the file titled TSI game. Right click, then properties, then compatibility, then check the box that disables full screen optimizations, then click the DPI settings, and then check the box at the bottom and ensure it's ran by the application. Then click OK, click apply, and then you're done. So now let's jump into the in-game settings. Firstly, under settings, head into graphics. Then under display settings, we'll start with display mode, which as always should be full screen for best performance. Your resolution should match your monitor's native resolution. Mine is 1440p, so mine is set to 2560 by 1440. However, if you're using a low-end system, lowering the resolution will surely improve your performance in FPS. For lobby FPS cap, I'd say leave that as an limited. In-game FPS cap should be custom and then followed by setting the max FPS to the maximum refresh rate of your own monitor. My monitor goes up to 165 hertz so I cap my FPS to 165. The brightness will obviously be based uh, on your own preference and finally ensure universal brightness for all maps is enabled. Then we move on to advanced settings. Starting with render scale, make sure this is set to 100. Anything higher or lower could have huge negative impact on performance. For FPP FOV, which is first person perspective field of view, the higher the number, the more you can see on screen, but also the more your GPU renders. So for lower end systems, you really want to be between 80 and 85, for medium spec systems, anywhere between 85 and 95. And finally, if you're on a high-end PC, then you want to go all the way up to 103, which is the maximum. Overall graphics quality will be set to custom. For anti-aliasing, very low is best. You want sharp edges in order to more easily spot other players in the distance. Post-processing should actually be set to medium or high. It improves the lighting. It'll make the graphics quality better for you. For shadows, definitely go very low or at least low but nothing higher, as this does have a big impact on frames per second. For textures, go as high as you can. Ultra is best, but if you're on a lower system, try high or even medium. For effects, try either low or very low. Don't need anything higher than that. Foliage can be left as very low. View distance should be on medium or high. If you're on a low end system, then obviously you might want to put it on low, but definitely try and keep it to as high as possible. Then disable sharpen as well as V-Sync. V-Sync in PUBG when enabled will generate high input lag, which obviously you don't want in competitive multiplayer games. It'll also cap your FPS to 60 FPS. So yeah, switch it off. And then finally, disable motion blur, you just don't need it. Now, of course, these settings really depend on your PC and your personal preference. So definitely play around and see what works best for you and your system. I do really hope the guide helps some of you at least in some way or another. If you do have any questions, pop them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. A goodbye.